Hello and welcome to Land's End Landmark Attraction, the most westerly point of the British Isles. I've brought my emotional baggage here today to find out the answer to such questions as what is it, where is it and should I bother? Let's go and find out. So the predominant reason to visit Land's End is of course the end of the land, so uh, there it is. That and the spectacular winds anyway, but what else is there to see? There's a helicopter, a pasty restaurant, a shop, more shops. Um, this. More shops. It's also, apparently, an excellent place for watching birds, like this one, and these ones. And there's also Wallace and Gromit's experience and some sort of pirate thing, um, but fortunately, close to COVID. Thanks, COVID. There's also a little farm featuring a vast and exciting array of animals. Now, I could make a joke about massive anchors here, but I won't. I don't know if you can hear it over those gale force winds, but the lighthouse behind me is making this kind of weird beeping noise. There it goes. It's a bit like something out of a horror film. So although the pirate 4D movie theatre was closed, it turned out Arthur's Quest was indeed open, it's just nobody was in there. So as much to get out of the infuriating wind as anything else, I paid my £2.50 to go in, take a look round and attempt to warm up. Oh, you got to love a rickety bridge. Oh. Looks painful. Mirrors, which way? Dragon. Dragon. Full chain. Oh. Arthur's quiz quest. Oh, I love a quiz. King Arthur was lost in which battle? Camelan, Camelot, Camembert. Oh, he's got it wrong. You've got two. Now prepare to meet the dragon. Oh. Yeah, it's violent! Only Excalibur has released his arm! 
find out what Land's End's all about. thought it was further. Okay, so truth be told there isn't much to do here but that's not really the point of coming to Land's End. It's about the experience, it's about buying the t-shirt, it's about getting the selfie and for that if you're in Cornwall it is worth a trip. Let me know what you think of Land's End, would you come here? Would you travel 874 miles between Land's End and Diagrotes? Let me know in the comments below, like and subscribe if you do and thanks for watching. See you next time.